What's up guys and welcome to another crack a pack episode today We are opening up a pack of dragons of Tark here uh, Not a ton of awesome stuff in this set, but we do have the commands which are all fairly good Colgon's command is definitely the best. Uh, we also have Dramoka's command things like that So hopefully we get something good there uh, But of course we're gonna look at this from a pack one pick one perspective So we'll figure out what our actual first round draft pick would be uh, I did draft a little bit with this set, though not very much, uh, so I'll do the best I can. I can't promise that it will be perfect, but we'll see what we get. So, our first common, Dragon Scarred Bear, 3-2 uh, for 2 and a green. It has Formidable, uh, so for 1 and a green you can regenerate it. Uh, activate this ability only if you control creatures uh, that have a total power of 8 or greater. Uh, Formidable was actually a really good mechanic, I thought. The 8 or greater was really not... Uh, that difficult to manage, uh, especially if you're in the green formidable deck, which obviously that's kind of the way you would go. Uh, there are a lot of really strong creatures with that, so I do like it. This is just kind of an okay card though. Uh, it's an on curve, you know, three mana, three two, it's like okay, with some random upside as long as you have it late game. Uh, so I do, like, I don't mind it, but it's not very great uh, in my opinion. Uh, Hand of Silimgar is a 2-1 for 1 and a black with Death Touch. Pretty straightforward creature, but I do like Death Touch in Limited quite a lot. Uh, it's just, it tends to be really overpowered because it really holds off threats easily. Uh, so I don't mind this card. I think I would take this over the bear. That being said, this isn't a very exciting first pick either. Uh, so we'll keep it to the side for now, but definitely not what we're hoping to first pick. Uh, Kindled Fury is one red for an instant. Target creature gets plus one plus zero and gains first strike until end of turn. This is a perfectly usable combat trick. Uh, one red mana for plus one and first strike is perfectly fine. Uh, absolutely nothing wrong with that. <coughs> Excuse me. But I would not want to first pick it by any means. Obviously if I was in a red sort of aggressive deck, absolutely I'd probably want one of these. Uh, but I wouldn't want more than one by any means and uh, early game or early picks I would not want this uh, naturalize a very classic card instant for one in a green destroy target artifact or enchantment again a pretty straightforward card but definitely one that you would want in a green sideboard uh, not necessarily something you want to pick up early by any means but late in a draft if you pick up one of these you are not unhappy about it there are gonna be some artifacts that you'll be able to blow up and to do it at instant speed for only two mana it's fantastic absolutely great uh, in general not a good first pick by any means though uh, Silimgar Butcher is a 3-3 for 4 and a black. Uh, it has exploit, so when it enters the battlefield, you may sacrifice a creature. Uh, when it's, it, it uh, exploits a creature, excuse me, target creature gets minus 3, minus 3 until end of turn. Now this is a much better card. Again, not insane by any means. It's only a 3-3, but it does hopefully uh, kill something on the opponent's side of the field. You do have to sacrifice a creature to do it. Uh, but generally speaking, you're going to have a little bit lower curve creatures as well that you can sacrifice that have hopefully just been outpowered by that point, and you can basically trade them off for something much bigger. Uh, so I do like that. Dragon Fodder, another really fun card. Sorcery for one and a red. Put two 1-1 one, one goblin creature tokens onto the battlefield. A pretty straightforward card, but definitely a good one. Uh, I like this card a lot in a red aggressive deck. Uh, I don't think I like it more than the Butcher. But uh, it is really, really good in that deck. It's a two for one always, so it's there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, Pacifism, another great classic card. So an enchantment for one and a white uh, enchant creature, and the creature cannot attack or block. Uh, I really like this card. I think this is up there with the Butcher in terms of cards that I would pick early uh, because it is removal. You don't have to sacrifice another creature uh, to actually basically remove something. That being said, uh, it is not a creature itself, so it's not like you're getting a body in return. Uh, so not a huge like threat on board by any means, but it does kind of deal with the opponent's creatures really, really well. Uh, Ancient Carp is a 2-5 vanilla creature for 4 and a blue. Very unexciting, not good at all. Uh, interesting art, but in general, not good. <laughs> uh, Avon Tactician is a 2-3 for 4 and a white with flying. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, you bolster one, which means choose a creature with the least toughness among creatures you control and put a plus one, plus one counter on it. Uh, now that could be this card, it could be any of the other creatures that you have on the field, it's just whichever one has the lowest toughness. Uh, this is fine, I think it's pretty good in the bolster deck, uh, and it's evasive. It's a little expensive, I feel like. Uh, if it was like three in a white, I would feel much, much better about it, but I do think it would probably be a little bit too powerful at that point uh, for just a common. 
Uh, but it is very, very good. I do like it. I'm going to stick it in this pile with these for now, uh, but we'll see what we end up taking. Uh, Sadisi's Faithful is a 0-4 for 1 blue with exploit. Um, when it exploits a creature, return target creature to its owner's hand. This is a perfectly fine tempo card in a blue deck. Uh, it's very early game, obviously, but uh, you can sacrifice it or another creature when it exploits. You can sacrifice itself, I believe, to the exploit trigger. Uh, and so I do like this card. Uh, it's not amazing by any means, but it's perfectly fine in a blue deck. Uh, our first uncommon, Aven Sunstriker, is a 1-1 one, one for 1 and 2 white with flying and double strike. And it also has Megamorph, so you make, uh, for 4 in a white, excuse me. And you may cast this card face down as a 2-2 two, two creature for 3, and then turn it face up for its Megamorph cost and put a 1-1 one, one counter on it. Uh, I really like this card. I think this would probably be better than what we have already. Uh, it's evasive, it's relatively cheap, uh, and it can actually do a lot of damage with double strikes, so I do like that. Uh, Virulent uh, Plague, excuse me, an enchantment for two and a black. Uh, creature tokens get minus two, minus two. This isn't really a card that like you want to pick early, but uh, against certain decks, if, it, if they do have a token deck of some kind, uh, this is absolutely great uh, against them. So it's definitely a card in black that I'd probably want access to as a sideboard card, not something I'm interested in early game. <coughs> Uh, a display of dominance, one and a green for an instant. Choose one. Destroy target blue or black non-creature permanent. Or permanents you control can't be the target of blue or black spells your opponents control this turn. Uh, again, a very specific but very powerful sideboard card. Obviously, it's not hitting creatures, which is a little bit less good and limited, but it's certainly powerful. Uh, you can deal with uh, enchantments. You could deal with this plague, for instance. Uh, or you could actually protect cards on your side of the field, which would be fantastic. So I do like this as a sideboard card in green, but I don't know that it's really even that great as a sideboard card just because it's so specific. Uh, but in general, not terrible. Uh, Welp. Okay, so our uh, rare is actually a mythic. Death, Death Mist Raptor is a 3-3 three, three for 1 and 2 green. Uh, it has death, death Touch, excuse me, and whenever a permanent you control is turned face up, uh, you may return Death Mist Raptor from your graveyard to the battlefield, face up or face down. It also has a Megamorph cost of 4 and a green. Uh, this card is really, really good. Obviously an on-curve threat, but that is going to be dealing hopefully recursive and death touch damage is great. Uh, absolutely love it. Definitely the card I would pick out of this pack. Uh, without a question, I think uh, there were actually a couple other cards that I liked in this one, uh, but Death Mist Raptor is just definitely absolutely fantastic. So. With that, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to leave a like or a comment down below. And as always, please make sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of our awesome content. But with that, I am going to get out of here. I will see you guys in the next Crack-A-Pack video.